In this video, I would like to show you how you can create calculated columns, but not just a regular calculated column. I would like to show you how you can create hyperlink columns in SharePoint list. So we have a list with items that each item has a title. And we would like to create an extra column called search YouTube. So when a user clicks on every single one of them, it automatically opens a new window searching for this title in YouTube. Let's see how we can do that. This is the list that I have. And here is YouTube. If I search, for example, for Breta, you see here is the syntax that searches YouTube for the word Breta. All I need is just to get this link and create a calculated column based on that. Let's do it. I open Notepad and I paste it here. So the hyperlink that takes me there is going to be a slash a and it should say search YouTube href equals the link and because I want to open it in a new window target will be underscore blank that's it so let's take it to SharePoint now if I go to SharePoint I go to the list that I have here it's called list with hyperlink I just go to list and I say create column I call it search YouTube and I make it calculated and here is my formula I just pasted it here and instead of putting the word Breta here I just take it out double quote ampersand and in between them I include the field title scroll down and I click OK and you will see something like this as you can see it doesn't render it as a hyperlink to take care of this I get back again to the list setting and I click on the field again here is the tricky part. All you need to do, instead of defining it as single line of text, set it to number. It sounds quite silly, but that's how it works. If I click on OK, now you have a hyperlink and Beretta 692, if I click on it, it's a new window. If I click on Mankini, this is what you will see. That was it. Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and stay in touch. Have a wonderful day.